I started cooking at a very young age with my grandmother. Um, we would, my parents would drop my sister and I off on the weekends and I would spend the weekend with my grandmother and grandfather. And so on Sunday night, we would all have a family meal that my grandmother and my sister and I had made. But it's just been one of those things that sort of always started the process. Um, I started working in um, restaurants and kitchens around 14, 15, just sort of peeling carrots and doing grunt work. And I went to culinary school right after high school. I only stayed there for two years. I figured I was already working full time while I was in Charleston and I just wanted to just get into the kitchen. So I met Emeril when I was in culinary school and he's the one who brought me to New Orleans. I like really comforting things at home. Leftovers are always delicious. <laughs> um, but I would say that we sort of focus more on things like pasta or just sort of one pot things, gumbos, things that we can sort of get started on a day off and then enjoy at the end of the day. I love toast and jam and um, I've been making my own butter and I'm really geeking out about it and I love it so I'm literally putting butter on everything. <laughs> it's delicious, yeah. I wanted to find a way to tie a house-made or homemade element into something that we were purchasing from out of house. I work pretty much exclusively with the Mote family with Progress Dairy out in Mississippi. I use her yogurt to culture it so we culture the cream for about a day and a half and then we whip it, drain it, strain it, wash it. It's just, the, it's like a magical thing. It's so easy and simple and it's, butter is essentially ruined with cream, but it's, <laughs> it's a really delicious mistake. And then, you know, after you make your butter, you yield buttermilk. So now we're trying to find a way to put more buttermilk onto the fall menu, because I have all this leftover buttermilk and it's gorgeous, like real classic, not clumpy, just beautiful, really rich tart, beautiful yellow color buttermilk. It's, it's really exciting. First of all, we love the fact that we are a local, neighborhood restaurant. We are very proud of where we source our ingredients from, so we do, I would say, 70 to 80 percent locally sourced, and we're working on making up that, you know, last bit of percentage. Um, we have great, loyal clientele. You know, I think people are finally coming back and re-experiencing the, the new Mobar. You know, we're very proud of the things that we've held on. You know, um, Matt and Jim did so much for this neighborhood and for this restaurant that we wanted to respect a lot of that. Just nice little French, you know, southern comfort food and just a welcoming place, you know. It's a home away from home.